As we reach the end of February this week, it is go time for the North Iowa Bulls, and North Iowa will be going a lot this week with four games in a six-day span. Hi, everybody. Austin Drowdy with your weekly preview for Tuesday, February 25th at Wilmer, Friday and Saturday, February 28th and 29th at home against Peoria, and back at home on Sunday, March 1st against the Wilmer Warhawks. North Iowa is now in the driver's seat in the NA3HL West Division standings, and with a little bit of help this week, they could wrap up a division championship. Taking a look at the first matchup of the week, North Iowa is 32-7-2 entering the brand new week, while the Wilmer Warhawks check in at 17-22-2-2. Wilmer is one of the league's least penalized teams, while North Iowa is firmly in the middle of that pack. However, the Bulls have won 13-14 in the all-time series head-to-head. -head. Peoria checks into the new week with a record of 23-16-1-3. Uh, they are fourth in the Central Division. Those games Friday and Saturday will match up two of the most stout defenses in the league. And both teams, though, have struggled in overtime, so it could be a boon for one of them if the games should turn out to be close. Taking a look at standings, North Iowa is tied for the league with two games in hand on Granite City as New Ulm continues to win. They come into the week having won 14 straight. Players to watch for this weekend. For North Iowa, Matt Dahlside is worth keeping an eye on. He's got points in 10 of his last 13 games. And Joe Daninger had saves on 28 of the 30 shots he faced in his weekend against St. Louis. For the Wilmer Warhawks, Brandon Holt snapped a seven-game point streak last weekend, but he remains the team's number one scorer by far. And Dylan Svoboda, with three multi-point games this month, will also be worth keeping an eye on. For Peoria, Dylan Bentley is the Mustangs' top scorer this year, but he's had points in only two of his seven games this month. And keep an eye on Jaden Gardner on a three-game personal winning streak, though in that time, he has given up eight goals, four of them in a win over the Milwaukee Power. So with time winding down in the regular season schedule, let's break things down and see where the Bulls and the Warhawks are at in the West Division standings. The best case scenario for North Iowa would be to win all four games this week. That means the Bulls could wrap things up with a little bit of help as St. Louis hosts Granite City this coming weekend. With four wins over the weekend, North Iowa would finish off a division championship if St. Louis picks up a single victory in any fashion over the Granite City Lumberjacks. A win for the Bulls on Tuesday night would put Wilmer a single point shy of elimination. That means any Warhawks loss or any Alexandria Blizzard win the rest of the way, and all four playoff spots in the West Division would be spoken for. There's a lot to sort out as far as the schedule goes for this week, so let's break that down as well. North Iowa and Wilmer do battle on Tuesday night at the Wilmer Civic Center at 7 o'clock. The Bulls are back at home Friday and Saturday against Peoria at 7.30. Sunday's game against the Warhawks here at the Mason City Multipurpose Arena is set for a special start time of 6.30 p.m. All four games will be on Hockey TV, and we'll also have our regular social media updates and post-game coverage Friday, Saturday, and Sunday will feature audio streaming on Mixler as well if you're not able to watch the games on Hockey TV or check them out in person here at the arena. It's our Families of the Fallen weekend. We have our final jersey auction weekend of this season. We'll wear those jerseys on Friday and Saturday night. They have come in and they look fantastic. Saturday night, those jerseys will be auctioned off to benefit Families of the Fallen, which is a nonprofit based in nearby Forest City, Iowa. We will not have a post-game skate that night, though. We've moved that back to Sunday night's game so you can skate with the Bulls after our final home game of the regular season and hopefully a night where North Iowa will clinch a West Division regular season championship. Also, congratulations to Todd Sandin and the six North Iowa Bulls players who made their way out to Attleboro, Massachusetts last weekend for the North American Tier 3 Hockey League's Top Prospects Tournament. The West went 3-0 at that event, outscoring their opponents by a combined 23-3. Lucas Wallen, with five goals and five assists, was the number one scorer in the tournament by far. And Evan Babacool went 41 of 42 with a couple of wins to pick up the number one goaltender spot at the event as well. And all six North Iowa Bulls players made it out there. Cal Noss and Soda Isogai also tallied points in that event. 
Game time Tuesday night set for 7 p.m. We'll be back at home Friday and Saturday night for 7.30 games and Sunday evening's game set for 6.30 p.m. You can buy tickets for all three of those home games online right now. Head to NorthIowaBulls.com and click on the tickets link at the top of the page. We're looking forward to closing out the regular season home schedule here this week, and we're hoping you'll be a part of it. Until then, I'm Austin Drowdy for your North Iowa Bulls.